Hi, my name is Lori Brown of Lori McBrown Photography. I help you transform the way you see yourself in photos and probably half of my clients hire me for personal branding. So today I've invited uh, one of my former clients, Lenora Fay, um, who has hired me for personal branding photos recently to come on as a spotlight guest and you can learn a little bit more about her. So Lenora, um, tell us what your name is, what you do and who you do it for. Thank you, Lori. So hi, my name is Lenora Faye. I am a child-free lifestyle advocate, speaker, and moderator. You may be going, okay, what the heck is all of that? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I create public and private platforms for people who have chosen not to have children. And this is a global endeavor. So I do podcasting, I do blogging, I do global conventions, I do private speaking events. And really the whole purpose is to create safe spaces for people who are maybe on the fence about wanting to have kids or they've chosen to not have kids, but feel unsupported. It's a place for people to gather, to express themselves, share their stories and just bring awareness to choice. It's not about convincing anybody one way or the other. It's just, just awareness that it's, it's a choice. Having kids is a choice. So that, hence the child-free lifestyle advocate title. So that's what I do about 70 hours a week. <laughs> Oh, wow. You're busy. It's, it's and, busy. Yes. And so like what, what kind of prompted you to realize that you needed personal branding images for your business? So I initially started with a blog with zero audience and I, you know, social media wasn't something I was really interested in, but when I realized that the topic was gaining traction, uh, you know, I, I started creating images and, and I wasn't showing my face. I hadn't started podcasting or, or uh, vlogging yet. So it was just word images, basically. And then, you know, a few years ago, I started doing a podcast and, you know, added on conventions and I was starting to, you know, I incorporated the wigs. I was starting to show my face more because I was using my personal story. So I realized, well, people need to see who's behind, you know, the posting. So last year, the end of last year, I had uh, met someone who had used uh, professional photography just, just for, per it wasn't even for personal branding. It was just, they just felt, you know, they, they were a classical opera singer. And so it was, you know, pandemic was happening and everything was going online. And she just felt that it, it was just a boost for her. And she ended up being a speaker at one of our conventions. And the first thing is we were looking at his photos. We're like, wow. And so her and I became friends. And she told me that she just had that done kind of on a whim. And there was something that clicked because, you know, by the end of, of 20, we've been 2021, I was feeling confident in where I was going with my work. And, it, you know, my, my name is getting out there. So I, I felt ready to take the next step, whatever that was. And I hate being photographed but that her story her personal experience that that there was a connection there in my head I was like I think I need to pursue this because you know it's one thing to reach out to your community that you advocate for but then the next step is to reach out to organizations who aren't within that space but they align with the same values and you know, I'd be looking at LinkedIn and, and seeing how people network. And I thought, yeah, like everyone has a professional photo. <laughs> and I ju it just felt, I just felt ready, kind of ready. You saw me when I showed up, was like, oh, okay, I want to do, <laughs> I want to do this, but I'm not super comfortable. But it, it did, it felt like the next logical step business-wise, but also what turned out to be, it was a very good thing personally, just for my own inner image journey. So nice. And so I'm sure you hit up Google looking for somebody. Um, I did. So, uh, tell me why you chose to hire me. The energy of the website, really, like there is, what did I type in? It was like headshots, basically. I mean, headshots, Calgary and photo studio. I, I knew, I knew that I wanted something more than a photo shoot, but I wasn't looking for a boudoir shoots. So it was kind of like a happy medium. So you were one of the first that did come up and I went through your site. And immediately, it, again, it was the vibe. It was the the Im images that you had on there, the women, they look confident, happy. And you gave all the information. See, for me, that's a big thing. I want to know like the procedure, the cost. You you put all of that there because, it, you know, when you when I go to a website and I want information, they're like, well, sign up and then we'll tell you stuff. I'm like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> so that was helpful to have your information there. But, but just how you laid it out, it was very inviting and friendly. And I felt, because this is 
way out of my comfort zone. And, and I felt at ease being on your site. I was like, all right, I don't feel like I'm going to be judged for whatever. And, and it has nothing to do with the photographer. It's my own issues. Right. Like that, <laughs> that's the thing. I knew that any hangups I had were about me. Like it was my own thing. So yeah. that put me at ease. And then I, and I looked at, at a few others, but I didn't get that same feeling that Mm. I was looking for. And then because you did offer personal branding, I'm like, that's, you know, I I wasn't so focused on having a physical photo to send to people. It was more like, I need something for my social media, my website. And, and you offered that. So that helped. Um, And yeah, I just got all the information and then it was just easy communication from there. So, you know, to me, that's, that's a done deal. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's super interesting for me. Um, and so for other people who are thinking about doing this, I would love for you to describe because it, it can be very nerve wracking getting photographed. Yeah. So between choosing to hire me and the photo shoot, tell me what you were feeling. So we met first because you always do the consultation, which is super helpful. I mean, we talked on phone by phone first and, you know, when you hear someone's voice, you, you, you know, if you click or not. And I felt yes. that we did. And, and then we went, we, you, you walked me through so many things you, I mean, I love paperwork. You sent the forms, you sent <laughs> everything. And I'm like, it really helped me streamline. Cause I really didn't know what I wanted. You, you know, you said you had a vision and I was like, I don't even know what my vision is. I just, I just want to like the photos at the end of the day. Like I was, it was very basic for on my end. Um, but going through the questionnaires, it made me think about colors, props, things I would have never thought about. And then, you know, we had the video con- uh, co- consultation. And then after that, then ideas were coming. And then, you know, you asked to submit photos. And by then I was like, because I had some outfits, but then I really thought about it, you know, between our, our, our meet and then the actual shoot. And then things were forming in my head. I was like, okay, well, what's this outfit and that outfit and this wig and whatever. And that, and you know, there's, there's the freedom of being able to choose for myself, but also knowing, okay, you know what you're doing. So I'm, I'm going to trust your vision, but I, it, it helped me gain ideas after we, you know, talked initially. So, and then of course you send the, the, like the, what the three week guide on what to do and what not to do, which is also very, very helpful. Um, Going off a coffee for a week was <laughs> was interesting, but it it worked out. So if you're yeah. wanting to, if anyone's watching this and doesn't want to give up coffee, trust me, <laughs> your skin is gonna glow after a week of no coffee. <laughs> yeah. So I, I do recommend that. Um, but but all that was helpful because I'd never done a photo shoot before. You know, I don't know about the process. So it's, I mean, that's the thing. It's about trusting who's on the other end of the camera, not just during the photo shoot, but leading up to that. And you give everything like you, you lay it out. So it's like, do this, do this. Don't, you know, I recommend you don't do this. You know, you're not, you're not going <laughs> to yell. You're not the person to yell. It's if someone, no, I, I that, never but, no. <laughs> yeah. so, but, but it, it felt, it was good guided, like nice guidance. It felt yes. like I could relax through that process. It's not that I wasn't nervous showing up, but again, the whole experience was really pleasant. So then when I did show up the day of, you know, I was ready to go. And then that and we had so much fun. That, I oh love my God, everything you that brought. Was so <laughs> that was so fun. I mean, also too, because you work with, you know, great hair and makeup people. So that, I mean, that the whole, the whole vibe was fantastic. Um, but, it, but again, leading up to it, it was, it was, it was nice, a calming effect because you, you know, any questions I could ask you and it was fun, like for sending you the first set of photos. And then when I really thought about the outfits, I was like, oh, you know what? I can bump this up a bit. And I'm glad yeah. I did. And so it was oh, fun yeah. just to kind of go back and forth with that, just to, you know, get feedback, but also there, it, it unlocked ideas. Yeah. But yeah. because if, if no one had, 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 if you hadn't had like even the questionnaires and stuff, some people might go, well, this is a little overkill. It's actually not <laughs> because- you know, most of us are going in blindly. We have no idea what we want to do. Well, and you're busy. Like you said, you're working 70 hours a week or more, I'm sure. And uh, it's not something you do every day thinking about photography. So yeah, I think it's helpful to kind of give you some parameters to get you thinking and, Mm -hmm. you know, hopefully not take up too much of your time so that you're really prepared, but you're not having to go out and research all these things that I'm here to help you with. Yeah. And see that, that's the thing. Cause it's, 
you know, again, more information is better because mm. otherwise people are guessing. I mean, I did go out and buy a new dress the day before because I was like, <laughs> you know what? I want a new dress for this. And I'm glad I did that. But just you can't assume that people know what to do. And sometimes, and I'm not saying you do this, but you know, in, in all of our professions, we get so good at what we do that the little basic details we forget to explain because we just assume yeah. people know them, yes. you know, like stay hydrated, lotion, exfoliate, like, you know, some of us have a skincare routine. Some don't, you don't know who. So that, yeah. that alone, like I, I appreciate beauty care and, and, and especially if you've never if that's not something you normally pay attention to, that stuff is very helpful for those that, you know, maybe don't yeah. see a dermatologist on a regular basis. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's the basics. And sometimes we forget about the basics, but they're so important. Yes. It's all the little things add up to, mm -hmm. you know, being a huge impact in the results. And so let's speak about the results. Oh my God. <laughs> I can see some of them behind you. There. Yes. So that's the canvas again, like these are this is, there were so many cool things that happened during the experience that I wasn't thinking about or anticipating. One of those being actual physical products. Cause I was focusing more on digital. Digitals were amazing, but I have to say the prints, like the reveal box, there's two of them there. And then the canvas, I mean, the digital stuff is gorgeous, <laughs> but in person, oh my Lord, I'm like, <laughs> Can I stare at myself for a bit? Yeah. I mean, really, it's the Dolce shoes. Like those pop on this canvas. I it's you can't really tell in, in the they video, do, but, but so do you in that beautiful no, way. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> that and it's funny because I was like, I, I may have told you this in the interview. I'm like, I don't want photos of me sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> but until we're in the I throne mean, pose. Yes. <laughs> and that was a dress that I bought in this random store that I've never worn in public. And so, I mean, and, and it all just worked. I mean, that's the thing. Like the results were beyond, they were exactly what I wanted without being specific. Like I knew I wanted to, I wanted something that captured how I felt inwardly and be glam, but professional. And it just, I could not have imagined what they would look like. I couldn't, I couldn't see it. So it was, again, you want to trust your photographer that they know what they're doing. <laughs> and then what we got, it was exactly what I wanted without even knowing that's what I wanted. So, yeah, you know, that's huge because you probably have me. I don't know. I don't know. I know I didn't cry, but I was very emotional at the reveal because that <laughs> it was amazing because you're like, I actually because I that's what I was nervous about is me liking them, not your ability is just like would I like them because yes. of how we see ourselves. And that's, that's a whole other conversation that we'll probably have, but oh, yeah. seeing that, you know, the, the next day you're like, wow. Okay. <laughs> like this worked and, you know, surprising what work and surprising, like surprised my, re I was surprised by my reaction to certain shots that I never would have anticipated liking like that one. Yeah, because when I when I was doing the pose, I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, <'cause> po <laughs> posing. I mean, respect to models out there. Posing is hard. It is brutally hard, and I'm like, you know, you don't feel natural. But all of them, you, you, I look at them, and I remember how I felt in the moment. But it sure doesn't come through that way. It, well, it looks remember, natural when you see them. I'm sure we said it a hundred times. Like my motto is: feels weird, looks great. <laughs> yeah and that's so true because this was I mean it wasn't the most uncomfortable mind you I just kicked myself in the incision site with my heel oh no just I before we talked that because I, I I hit because I had two inc ankle surgery incisions and I was like ah. oh no <laughs> but but anyway but you know the expression was good but that I was like I have no idea if this is gonna work because I couldn't see what the front of my dress was doing like, I couldn't see anything and then when you I saw that the reveal I was like oh my god that looks gorgeous yes <laughs> I didn't I I felt good but you, you're you're kind of like this is weird you know like that was my feeling that's pretty common I hear that yeah. a lot we're like I'm like no you just gotta trust me <laughs> yeah and do because that I I cannot believe how much I like that photo I just love so much I did so. too and I love because like you are on things like this all the time right because your audience is worldwide and so mm -hmm. this is like in your background and your zoom screen all the time and I think it just like represents how empowered you are and, and what an empowering person you can be for other people well, thank you for one. Uh, it, it's interesting you say that because, well, I mean, the only 
uh, bad thing about or con about hanging up behind me is I can't goof off in this office because well, the first uh, after I picked it up at your place I hung it and then I was just like just spinning around in my chair and I looked up at that and saw my expression I was like okay I'll get back to work now because <laughs> I mean that that's like you know full-on business Lenora um and then when I do when I do meetings I'm in my normal hair and I'm not glammed up I mean I'm kind of like partial glam here but not like that is like top and then I'm like, yeah, okay. I have my, my normal hair underneath. So it's, it's they're like, yeah. oh, that's you and you. I'm like, yes, yeah. <laughs> but, but there is my initial reaction to that photo in the moment that we took it and then seeing it the next day and how I feel now, I, I view this photo differently because the first, when I saw this, I was like, this is someone who's 39, who's starting to become confident, but not quite there. That was how I was feeling in that moment. But now when I look at it, I'm like, oh, she's a kick-ass. Like, don't mess with her. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's amazing how your own perception, like, I don't know how anyone else sees that photo, but your own perception changes once you've gone through that process and you become aware of what you what's possible for yourself. Yeah. And then you view yourself and photos of yourself differently. So that was an interesting experience too. Again, this is all stuff that never just, went through my mind when we were doing the initial process of taking photos you think I'm just getting my photo done and that's it but I do tend to take things to a different level sometimes <laughs> after a while um but that that's been my experience where I'm like oh okay it's just you know it's personal it's a that. personal body image journey not that things are perfect to me for me but it really helps it really yeah. does yeah yeah so um, those are all super awesome bonuses, but um, mm -hmm. you hired me for personal branding. And so I did. these images were to be used in your business. And I've been seeing you use them lots, but like, yes. tell us where you've used them, how you've used them, how much you've used them. So what you did, that, something you did that's really, really cool is that you sent, you send behind the scenes photos while we're waiting for the, for the, the results. And so I started incorporating them in my social media, which is Facebook, Instagram, and recently LinkedIn. And it was just a fun way to say, Hey, I did this thing. I really wasn't talking about what or why I had done it. But once you sent those behind the scenes photos, I was like, okay, like people that are, that know me know that I like to be glamorous. And so it was, I was just having fun just showing behind the scenes. And then when I got the, the official photos done, immediately started incorporating it you know some I would just show the shot of myself but then some I would put a message on brand of what I do and that's when I started using LinkedIn and that has changed a lot because tonight or at the, the time of this recording I'm speaking at a university in the Philippines tonight for an advocacy group along with a a, a a congresswoman, the youngest congresswoman in the Philippines, oh, wow. and a trans activist who's a scientist. So I'm like, whoa, okay. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, this, this group approached me and, and I, it was after I started using LinkedIn on a professional level to network with other people. So mm -hmm. I hadn't, I hadn't been using LinkedIn before. Not, not really. Cause I'm like, how do you like, this is it, because of what I do is, is it's very niche. Mm -hmm. It's hard to bring to people. It, it's a challenge to bring to people that aren't in that space. I was like, how do I do this? So the images have helped because, you know, I, I present myself as the co-founder of, you know, the global conventions we do. So I, I use a more on the business side, you know, like, here's what I make, here's my audience, but that's kind of secondary, if you, you know what I mean? But, yeah. if, but as it turns out, there are people who are looking for what I do on LinkedIn, but because it's so niche, like people don't know how to like Google or search it. So yeah. A, a number of things have happened since I've started using those images online. Cause again, you're presenting yourself as a, prof you know, as a professional. And so that's been fun. Uh, there's, there's the fun vanity side of it on, on my like child-free blog, Instagram, for example, that's a, kind of where I document my journey as a child-free woman and what I'm doing. So it's more personal. And then, you know, I use the headshot for, as a profile photo for, for other ventures. So um, in the, still in the child-free space. So it's been, it's been a fun combination of, okay, like I'm serious. This is, and, and people do take you seriously when you have professional photos. Like, I mean, that was, that was part of the intention, but because again, the topic I'm on is still considered taboo by a lot of people, even here in Canada, I had, I had to, 
you know, this is partly why I wanted to have it done is I wanted to showcase like, you know, this, I, this means something to me. This is actually serious. We, we are working on something that is, that is vital, but people don't understand it. And so you, you have, it's, it's a, it's a balance. And how do you communicate the importance of this kind of conversation? Mm -hmm. And to, I mean, let's be real. People look at the messenger, you know, yes. and that was the biggest struggle is like, I wanted to put all this content out there for years and I did for years, but I didn't show my face. And then I started podcasting and, and doing the, the web series. And I was like, well, I have to show my face, <laughs> which is fine. But that was a whole other journey, you know, and this is part of it. But the truth is in order to, for people to take you seriously and the work that you're doing, you do have to like image is, is important. And it's not about like, are you pretty? Are you hot or whatever? It's, but th they, because I do the same thing. If someone's going to present me with something, like, who are you? What are you doing? And again, professional level, if it's sloppy, like if you're, it, you, you would still be you as a photographer, but if your presentation was like, ah, we do this, we do, you know, like if it was kind of like haphazard, I probably wouldn't have, have chosen you because it has, again, nothing to do with you personally. It's just how it's presented. So yeah. in the last, what has it been? Three weeks <laughs> since I've had these, maybe a month. I can't remember. It, time's just been a blur. I realized the, the um, response. And again, it's not like it's all positive, but people respond. <laughs> yeah. So, and that was the, that was the hope. Because yeah. you, you know, whatever it is that you're, you're doing, you want to get, you have to get the word out because everyone's doing the same thing. Everyone's trying to put the word out on what they're doing. So, yeah, you know, it, that it gives you really good traction. Like when you're getting mm -hmm. interaction on your posts, yeah. then the algorithm is on whatever platform you're on. It's going to show it mm -hmm. to more people. Right. Yeah. Well, and that's just it. And that's the other thing. The, uh, on Instagram, there's the explore page and that's all algorithm driven everything is now hitting the explore page when I use my photos nice. that, that that's free advertising and if you don't if people don't know what that means that means like my posts are getting like between 10 and 30 thousand views oh wow and, and I have a following on Instagram of 1800 people nice. so that's that's big because I don't have a big that I don't is. have a big social media following in this space yeah. but all my all my stuff is between 10 and, and 30 thousand that's organic that's not being that's not paid that's just it's picking up the algorithm is liking the images and not, and enough people because people are responding. And so it's consistently doing that now with 1800 followers. That is amazing. Like that, that is, that is. So thank you for the photos. <laughs> yeah. You're so like, welcome. And I love how you touched on, um, like being a representative of your brand. Um, and if somebody doesn't know you personally and know how awesome you are, which is, I, I mean, when you're looking at, a world of people like you can't meet everyone in person no. and then they go and check you out and you have not put any effort into your imagery like you're using a snapshot from a wedding where you cropped out the rest of the people which I see way too much um <laughs> it's it kind of it, it makes you look a little bit lazy right and that you don't take yourself seriously mm -hmm. so I think like that's, that's part of it is like that you took yourself seriously and that means that you're standing behind your brand mm -hmm. and that this is not just a thing you're doing for five minutes, but you're dedicated to it and you're taking it seriously. And you're taking yourself yeah. seriously. And, and yes to all of that, because the thing is, especially on this topic, it's, it's only, you know, there have been people who have been talking about this particular subject for decades but only in the last few years has social media started to gain uh, traction on social media because it's niche, because it's, it's hard to monetize. You have to be incredibly creative and you have to stick hmm. with it. Most people start accounts or blogs or podcasts and within six months to a year, they die out because it's a lot of work. I'm in year yeah. number four. I've been very fortunate to be in a position where I could dedicate my entire life to this to get it to where it is now. And this is still like ground level. It takes a lot of patience. And sometimes you're like, okay, you, you just want to quit so many times because you're like, where is this going? Yeah. But, but that's the thing. And, and to me, I'm like, okay, so I, I am serious about it. People that have been aware of what I do for a while to see that I'm serious and that's 
and now I'm at the point where I'm I'm ready to branch out. And again, you're right. Like if I were just using a, I don't know, blurry photo from last year or even, even just a selfie, because that's what I've been doing. My selfie game has gotten a lot better since meeting you, by the way. <laughs> so thank you for that too. Because like awesome. lighting, like poses, I'm like, oh, because you can still use selfies. You know, oh, you to, like you, you, you get, you use the tools when you're ready for them. If you're just starting out, I don't necessarily recommend like professional photos yet because yeah, it's just like, don't go buying all the expensive equipment. If you're just starting your podcast, because it, you might realize you don't want to do it. So let it, let it build. Like I was just at the point where I was ready for this because I would not have been ready two years ago. (laughs) Not, not at all. Like just emotionally, mentally, I I would not be ready for it, but, but yeah, like now it's, I, I have a history. I have a lot of backing. I do have a community behind me. So now I am ready to be like, okay, here's me. And this is what I'm doing. This is what we're doing. This is the the purpose of the work. Let's go, <laughs> you know, and the, the photos are kind of like the, the icing on the cake sort of thing as far as presentation. Yeah. Um, and did that answer your question? Sorry, I sometimes, yeah, <laughs> sometimes totally. get into, yeah. get, go into a rant. So you kind of touched on this there, but um, so would you recommend personal branding to uh, other people? It sounds like you you wouldn't if they were brand new, but just when they get to a point where they're more established. Well, there's two schools of thought because how I operate is not how someone else is going to operate. Mm-hmm. I think because I fell into this, like it, well, this was not the intention. So, you know, the, there are some people that launch their idea after a lot of thought and a lot of preparation and I feel and and I've seen them start with personal branding and I am talking about the child-free conversation or even childless or infertility like Mm -hmm. it's it's a wide it's a wide scope Uh, so some people have been working behind the scenes on something for six months to a year and they're they're ready to launch everything's in place and they do use professional photos so if if that's you then do it you know, for me, I just started as a blog again with zero audience like four years ago and was just talking about my journey and things have developed and snowballed to me getting to this point. So, you know, if, if, and if that's you, where you're just trying out ideas, you don't want to invest a lot of money into something. You're not sure where it's going to go yet, because it's not like this, you know, it's set in stone what I'm doing, but where it's going. I mean, that that's, it's, you never know, like opportunity, like just yeah. things show up every week. It's like, okay. Or no. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I don't say yes yeah. to everything, but you know, if you're, if you're still trying to figure it out, I, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't choose to just go all in yet because if let's say if I had done this a few years ago, my style, my message was not developed at all. Like yeah. I wasn't, I was still kind of like testing the waters. Now I have a very definitive idea of what I'm doing. Like it's very, you know, I know how to present it and, and what I'm doing. And even, even the title of child free lifestyle advocate, I mean, that, that's still, that happened. And then I started doing these photos. So I, I, I'm ready to present myself. Yeah. And, and at the time too, I was busy developing those platforms and not necessarily developing Lenora Faye. Mm -hmm. You know, I was behind there. I was part of things, but I hadn't quite gone, okay, well, what am I doing in this space? Who am I? Because I was using a, diff- a blog name. I wasn't using Lenora Faye, like, you know, my name. Yeah. But now, you know, by the time we got connected, I was like, okay, this is who Lenora Faye is. This is what she's doing in this space. And so now I need photos to represent that. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, and, and so that, that makes sense, but not everyone's going to have that same trajectory. Some will be ready for it, but if yeah. you're not ready for it, I don't, cause it, it's, it's an investment. It's a good investment, yeah. but like anything else, you don't want to invest too early <laughs> because no, sure. you know, otherwise, yep. and, and you, and you're the only person that's going to know when you're ready for it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I can't say in six months, you're going to be ready for it. I don't know. Like you, you just have to, you'll know. Cause it wasn't something I thought about even a year ago, you know, yeah. it just kind of yeah. was like, Oh, Hey, had a conversation yeah. with somebody. And then that made me think, so yeah awesome so um do you have anything you meant you mentioned you're speaking tonight in the philippines um do you have anything else you want to tell people about and maybe tell us how to follow you online like share your social media handles sure so i'll, I'll actually speak to people that 
do have kids because they're people, you know, like people tend to zone out if they're like, I don't think this is for me. But part of the work I do is to, you know, create allyship. Like, Lori, you're a parent, you know? And I mean, this is, this conversation is where people feel uncomfortable. People who have chosen not to have kids feel uncomfortable stating that they don't have kids and that they don't want kids because they're not sure of the reaction. Yes. I'm over that. I, I, I know how to defend myself if I have to, but what's really cool about this is like, you know, cause you ask on the form, what do you do? Or, you know, you're, you asked me, sorry, you asked me about my brand or what, what the purpose was. So I did explain like, this is what I do and this is why I do it. And, you know, I, I want, part of the work is to make people feel comfortable to say, you know what I've chosen, I, we, whatever have chosen not to have children. And if you're on the receiving end and you're like, what, why, whatever, like I want, I want the conversation to feel natural. The whole point is to normalize this choice. And I mean, that's a very tall order, very tall order. So if someone's listening this to, or watching this or reading this and going, what, why, like, I, I have conversation with everybody. So if you are someone that doesn't want to have kids is unsure, I, I'll give you the, how to contact me in a second. But also if someone does have kids and is very confused by this, by what I do, <laughs> or has questions or hates what I do, because that happens too, I still want people to reach out because the whole point yeah. is just to have a conversation. That's it. And it's nope. been super interesting because like you've been tagging me a lot and <laughs> thank you for doing that. I love that. I was like, um, sh- I, I want to give you credit, but also too, given the nature of the conversations, which are all positive based, but you know, I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Like, oh, she's taking. Oh, certainly me. not. So <laughs> I've been reading the comments and it's been really interesting and I love how it is normalizing people like having a conversation about that mm-hmm. and hearing how hurt people are when they're getting pressured to have kids. And it's like, well, you know, like, don't tell me I might regret not having kids because I may regret having kids. And that's like a lifelong commitment too. And so it really sheds some light on kind of the other side of thinking. And -hmm. we've been raised in a way where it's like an expectation, right? So I can really appreciate um, like people who choose not to have kids and, and being more aware of like how I interact with them because I'm sure I've asked people before like, oh, when are you gonna have kids? And it's like, you know what? I should not assume that people want to have any. It's totally okay. But it's programmed even on my end to say that because that's how I grew up too. And and we're in a you know pretty fairly open-minded country. Yeah. Let alone, I mean, again, there are I speak to people, I, I just connected with someone in Russia of all places oh, wow. yesterday she tagged my account and it was in russian and we did the, i had to use the translator to see what it was about but they're trying to ban child free content in russia i mean russia's having issues I, I mean <laughs> that's a yeah. whole but we we had an hour-long conversation via text and i'm like if we get cut off by internet access whatever like here's all my contact information because she's she's trying to bring awareness. I mean, that of all places. So, I mean, people are speaking up about it in places where you are not supposed to. Yeah. So, and again, to the awareness, like just, just knowing that like people, a lot of people go, well, why are you talking about this? Cause they don't realize people are feeling pressured because they either never felt pressured or they've chosen to have kids or nobody talks about that. So I love that even you're even, even like, if you're reading through that and you're like, oh, okay. And then that, and then that assumption that we all, like most of us say, so are you going to have kids? I mean, cause I hate that question. Now I'm prepared for it, but many yeah. people aren't, they don't know how to respond. And then some people do have kids because they don't want people to keep asking that question. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of conversation happening. Um, yeah. but, but your example of, of scrolling through and reading comments, I mean, that in a, in a nutshell is like, why do this? It's like, perfect. Just just having a conversation that's it it's not to convince anybody that one choice is better than the other it's just it's life like we get to choose things yeah it's whatever's right (laughs) for you right yeah yeah so uh do you want me to plug the specific things like website yeah whatever you you want to share about okay um, well, my, my main website is lenorafay.com and that will have links to everything in the podcast, the conventions, because I create content that is free. Um, so yeah. you can watch, you can watch replays of conventions we've done. You can listen to the podcast. You can watch it in video form. You can read articles I've written. Uh, my social media at childhood blog on Instagram is on there as well. 
you know, so lenorefay.com is the best way because that has, that's the portal to everything I do. And then you'll find other people that are doing similar work as well. So okay. uh, that's, well, that's the easiest way. Awesome. And I will add all the links when I post this, I'll put all of those links in the comments below. And um, I just want to thank you so much today for taking the time to chat with me and to, you know, just discuss all of these things. I really appreciate it. And it was super fun to photograph you. I certainly hope I'll get that opportunity again. Oh yeah. I had to rein myself in from like doing this like a month later. Cause I was like, I want to do another photo <laughs> shoot. I'm like, okay, just use what you have for now. <laughs> Cause it, it was very, very fun. So thank you for creating that environment because for anyone that really doesn't want to do it, I was that person, but I knew I had to just try it, you know, yeah. like, worst case scenario, I wouldn't like anything and then be like, okay, but it was phenomenal. It was such a fun day. Oh, good. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Have a great day.